and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. A first ever multi-country, multi-stakeholder tourism coalition is the new star at COP26 in Glasgow. The World Tourism Organization, UNWTO, just got a powerful, well-funded competition. Action, not declaration must be the way forward to relaunch tourism effectively, and this coalition is ready to shine. COP26 in Glasgow is not only getting a message to the world, that tourism needs to be part of the climate change solution, but it's the first action by the first ever multi-country multi-stakeholders coalition in tourism. It's time for action, not declarations. A profitable and climate-friendly future for world tourism just became a lot brighter. The 2021 United Nations Climate Change Conference ongoing at this time in Glasgow, UK may very well be the start of a new form of global cooperation with both the public and private sector involved. The World Tourism Organization, UNWTO, is seen by many as ineffective, underfunded, and mismanaged may just be in for a competition. The global tourism world cannot say no to. It started with a vision by the Saudi Minister of Tourism, he Ahmed Akhil Al-Khatib. Saudi Arabia has been known investing billions into the development of global tourism. This is not only attractive for an industry that has been beaten by COVID-19 for almost two years, but it motivates and encourages. Gloria Guevara, the top advisor of the Saudi Minister of Tourism, and former WTTC CEO told E-Turbo News, while the World Tourism Organization, UNWTO, signs declarations, the first ever multi-country multi-stakeholders coalition is all about action. It's needless to say, the funding is real. Saudi Arabia demonstrated to be a bridge between the developed and the developing world. Today the three tourism ministers from Kenya, Jamaica, and Saudi Arabia attending a panel in Glasgow on climate change said, the tourism industry wants to be part of the solution to dangerous climate change. Establishing this new coalition is a three-phase project. Today's event was attended by governments from the United States, the UK, Kenya, Jamaica and Saudi Arabia. In phase one, 10 countries in total were invited to the coalition. UK, USA, France, Japan, Germany, Kenya, Jamaica, Spain, Saudi, Morocco. International organizations that participated today. UNFCC, UNIP, WRI, WTTC, ICC, Systemique. In addition, the World Bank and Harvard were invited to join the coalition. ICC represents 45 million SMEs. 65% are in the developing world. When asked when smaller organizations like the African Tourism Board and the World Tourism Network would be invited to join, Gloria Guevara indicated this could be discussed for step two or three. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group, or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.